Jet 24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Kind of dicey traveling for early this morning as uh, we had some freezing drizzle fall that uh, a little more prominent than expected. And uh, we've had uh, several of our weather watchers, including Laureate in Edinburgh and uh, here at Edinburgh University, uh, there could uh, very well be uh, a layer of ice on the roadways or any untreated road surfaces. Now, the main roads, the highways, and most of the main roads, as far as we can tell, uh, in Erie and Crawford County have been salted. But boy, some of those side roads are a sheet of ice, mainly I-90 South. That little bit of rise has helped to uh, develop some of that freezing drizzle. Too light to be detected. Uh, storm tracker is uh, not showing any precipitation. It's too low and too light. But take special caution traveling, especially on the side roads for this morning. Downtown area, as far as we can tell, has stayed close to freezing, and the roads uh, within the city uh, should be okay. Uh, but uh, be careful. You know, if you have ice on the sidewalk, there is a possibility of ice on the roadways. That's a good rule of thumb. And you can see a lot of our temperatures outside of Erie are below freezing. Becky reporting some icy conditions, 26 out in uh, French Creek. Uh, Lori reporting uh, ice and 27 at Edinburgh. Any other weather watchers, if you do have some icy conditions, let me know so we can pass it along. Again, reports of ice and frosty conditions from Ed Westmead, Bill O'Connor at Lake. And uh, so, uh, again, it uh, looks like it even got into Crawford County. Chandler's Valley, Linda, Gary, and Saybrook, both at 26. If you have some slickness on your roadways or sidewalks, let me know as well. Other than that, uh, this little precipitation will probably be around the next couple of hours, at least through the morning rush hour. And then uh, things should gradually clear out, and we should get a little more sunshine uh, later on today to boost our temps. And we'll stay mild and dry as we head on toward tomorrow. Big upper-level systems are going to slide into the region on Friday, and uh, that will allow for some showers and then eventually changing over to some wet snow by late in the day. Today, again, watch for uh, some uh, freezing mix, a uh, very light freezing mix for the next several hours. Then clouds will break for a little sun later on this morning. High temperatures here in the area approaching 40 degrees. And from your weather authority, we'll have variable cloudiness for tomorrow. Temperatures lower to mid-40s. And then uh, the showers come in for Friday, changing the wet snow. Not much accumulation. Shouldn't be too bad uh, Friday and Saturday. Things will be light. Sunday and Monday, uh, expecting uh, some bands of lake effect. Uh, no heavy snow expected, but some accumulations are possible. Something that we will certainly watch. Well, I would say it's about darn time. Yeah. The snow 